Ken Brower for Cam's Mortgage Minute on Thursday, December 13th. Hey, I was reading an interesting report and I was talking about demographics. Now, demographics are something we don't talk about that often and their impact on the real estate market. But these folks' assertion was that demographics that have helped build up the market over the last decade or better are going to be the same demographics that are going to be pulling it apart over the next uh, decade or so. This report was issued by Pacifica Partners Capital Management in BC. And they basically said that the housing market has been built upon the baby boomers buying in waves in their peak earning years. And that the younger buyers that are lined up after them to buy the properties as these baby boomers retire, there just isn't going to be enough of them and that is definitely going to have an impact on the market. We've seen dramatic rises in the values of our properties across the country and according to the Canadian Real Estate Association, we've been averaging about a 7.7% uh, increase over the past 10 years on a national basis uh, annually. I mean, that's, uh, those are stellar and uh, really uh, quite large numbers. And at the same time, we basically had the mantra over the last, I'd say, 20, 30 years, and I'd mentioned this to you in a previous Canvas Mortgage Minute, that real estate was basically an investment. That was the mantra. I mean, you, you know, you bought real estate because you wanted your real estate always went up and it was a great investment. So now, uh, you know, these folks are saying, look, we need to take a fresh look at things because let's face it, if these demographics come into play, our real estate is definitely overvalued and it's going to correct. Uh, the bottom line is nobody knows exactly how much and when. I mean, the, we're seeing declines, but again, nobody can quantify this yet. But according to Pacifica, they say that the big factor in all of this is going to be people aged between 45 to 64. And in the basically in the uh, basically before that population used to account for just under 20% of the overall population. However, in the 1990s and the 2000s, we've added an additional 10% to this group. In other words, in round numbers, there's 4.3 million more 45 to 64 year olds than there were before in the 1990s. So really, if you look at it, that's a significant change. And they feel that these folks are going to uh, you know, basically account for a housing bubble. In other words, they are saying that in most industrialized countries, uh, basically after a sharp growth in this age group, that's when a housing bubble has burst and that's, that's, you know, that's what they're predicting here. Again, time will tell and we'll see, but it's interesting demographics they're looking at. And they're saying in previous generations, uh, the supply of young people in Canada was big enough to replenish this age group as they were retiring, as they were selling. But they feel that now with such a large size in the baby boomers, there just is not going to be enough people to fill their shoes. So what could be the variable in all of this? It could be the fact that we could have immigration come in and fill the gap. But the bottom line is for immigrants to come to Canada, there needs to be jobs. And can the jobs match that uh, demand? I mean, again, that's an equilibrium that may be hard to meet and nobody really knows how far that's going to go, especially with the global economy overall. So again, lots of different little factors. So at the end of the day, what they suggest is that if you're a baby boomer looking to sell your family home, what you need to really do is take a serious and hard look at how big of a component your home makes in your overall retirement plan. If there's a lot of uh, capital in it in the sense that you have virtually no mortgage or no more, you know, virtually no mortgage or little mortgage at all, is it the biggest part of your retirement planning? If it is, their suggestion is maybe now is a good time to look at selling it because they feel that if the market does drop and correct, you're going to be losing your biggest asset. So things that are certainly uh, serious and that you've got to take a good hard look at. Also now, as far as young people, the advice they're giving them is that, hey, don't get uh, dissed about renting. Don't worry that the market's suddenly going to get out of control and that you're going to be having it run away from you. Bottom line is, is that they feel the market's going to be flat. Well, actually, they feel, they feel it's going to decline and we're going to see uh, no growth in the next uh, decade ahead. So as far as a young person worried about the market, there's nothing to worry about. The biggest thing that they were also mentioning out of this is that you have to look at home ownership, not as an investment, but as something you, uh, basically a home. As I mentioned to you before, we talked about this a couple of months ago. There used to be a time when homes were viewed places to live, raise a family, do all those things. But somewhere along the way, they just became investments, places we were going to make a lot of money out of. So their thinking is, hey, you need to go back to the way it used to be. Think of a home as a place you want to raise a family. You're going to love living there. And if that's what's important to you, then don't worry about the rest of this because ignore the demographics because the bottom line is over the next decade or so, if you don't need to sell, you're buying it for those purposes only, enjoy your place. 
and just focus on affordability. So make sure, as I've said to you time and time again, it's a place you can afford. It's a place that you can support. You're going to be happy doing all those things. In. And bottom line is, when you look at it, with uh, interest rates at record lows, prices being pressured downward, it's a great time to look at home ownership. It's certainly not a bad time. And uh, if you are interested in that, give us a call at the Auxilium team, Cam the Mortgage Man. We're always here and happy to help you out. And uh, hopefully this uh, demographics thing, uh, well, we'll see how it all plays out. It's uh, not something we're going to see the immediate results of like overnight, but it's something over time that uh, we'll be able to look back on a past mortgage minute and say, hey, this is what they were predicting. Look what happened. Anyway, it's been Cam for Cam's Mortgage Minute, and I will see you tomorrow.